And greetings, everybody. This is Scrap Empire delivering another awesome episode. Now, we have a one of a kind, you know, we have a one of a kind big matchup tonight. UFC Vegas 22 featuring the likeness of Song Keenan versus Max Griffin, Leonardo Santos against Grant Dawson. And those four opponents have incredible resumes on their fight, through their fight history. And I believe, you know, we're going to have a one of a kind main event card tonight. Now this video is specifically about Max Griffin versus Sean Cannon. Now, Max Grip, now, Sean Keenan, you know, he's, he's a Chinese man. He's from China, excuse me. Because Chinese is the language. One thing I won't allow myself to do is spread any type of ignorance or make it seem like I don't know what I'm talking about. I only want to talk about factual information. Now, Song Keenan is a man from China. And he has an incredible reputation of being able to knock out fans, being able to knock out people, being able to knock out his opponents specifically in the first round. Now, a fight that I was very impressed with, that I was very impressed by Saw Keenan was with Derek Krantz. You see, Derek Krantz is a tough guy. He's willing to take the shots, but he's also he's also willing to you know, get you near the ground so he can attack you. He's pretty strong. He has a he has a phenomenal physique, and he was giving Sean Keenan a run for his money compared to the other guys that Sean Keenan Sean Keenan had to you know, go up against, such as. Bobby Nash, which was a easy, easy, easy knockout for him. It's like the guy was able to walk all over him. He wasn't even trying. However, this fight against Derek Krantz showed that not only can he test the waters, but the man can also the man the man has the opportunity to to hit you with a clean shot. Not only can he land accurately, but it can severely hurt you or give you long-term long -term sustainable damage. So you just have to be aware of the power that the man possesses. Now, if you look at the first round, in Derek Krantz's corner, his coach told him that he wasn't he he lost that round. But that first round was probably one of the best first rounds I've seen in my entire life because you couldn't even you you don't have I don't think any person had to has the judgment to accurately judge that round. Because again, Son Keenan wasn't getting his normal he he wasn't he wasn't performing like he normally does in terms of being in terms of being able to easily knock out his opponent with such ease. You know, it was a tough fight for him. Well, not tough fight, but it was just a tough. You know, he needed time to adjust. But yeah, Derek Krantz was getting him near the cage. He had his hands up. He was taking shots, and not only was he taking shots, he was giving Sonkin and some some incredible headshots as well. And number two, which made it even more impressive, Derek Cross is a way shorter fighter than, not way shorter, but Son Keenan has about two or three inches of height over him. So there shouldn't be any reason why he wasn't able to take control of the, of the distance that he had. But, however, 
the third round ended and we saw that towards the end of the third round, Sonky was able to get his leg kicks and get his headshots in order for him to get the victory that he needed. Now, Max Griffin on the other hand, see this, this fight is gonna be very interesting because there's a fighter that Max Griffin went up against not so long ago and his name is Chris Melander. Chris Melander was a taller guy you know, very skinny, very, very skinny physique, but he's one of those anomalies where he's skinny, he looks skinny, he looks like he can't hard, but if he hits you clean, you're out. And Chris Mullen, Chris Mullen won that fight unanimously. He was hitting him with the, his, what I like about skinny fighters like Chris Mullender, they hit with so much fluidity. Like their, their shots are extremely fluid. Max Griffin hits fluid, like his, 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 his shots, his shots are fluid, but sometimes he looks a little stiff and there's nothing wrong with being stiff. You have people like Alan Blachowicz who are extremely stiff, but he has so much power and strength that he's able to make up for it. But you need some type of power and both power and strength to make up for your stiffness if you don't hold that. You're, you're just going to be a stiff guy who's too slow. Like, if you're going to be slow, at least have power and strength to make up for it. You know, have above average strength and, and, and bring around to make up for it. your slow build, for your slow movement. If you're just moving in the ring, if you're just moving around and being slow, then people are going to take advantage of that. But yeah, Chris Mondo was able to see. He, he looked like his rider sound in terms of being able to hit with those black kicks. He has a skinny physique he has a skinny frame but he but it looked so beautiful like aesthetically he looked he looked like a a prototype is right sound yeah the way how you say it all oh, prototype uriah hall not so much uriah hall because uriah hall is it's just uriah hall is too agile like is right Sanya can throw those kicks that uriah hall can However, your eye hole looks like he's in tech and like he just has more of a like uh, he has he just has more of a like uh, whack to his kicks. There's not a sign he has the ability to do it. He just hasn't shown us. But it could, uh, that guy, he 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 was controlling controlling the, the the controlling the cage. He was controlling the he he was he was controlling. You know, just he was controlling the distance. And he took advantage of Max Griffin's, you know, slow ability. And there's nothing wrong with slow fires. We have plenty of slow fires that have many that thrive. But in the near future, when you go up against people like Chris Mondo, who has the height, who has the quickness, and who has the agility and the fluidity to his punches, you're going to have, you're going to struggle. Because it's not like Max Griffin is extremely strong. The only people I know can move slow, but can still you know, have, you know, success on the Eastern Europeans. You know, Sidney Miosha, she's not the fastest fighter compared to somebody like Alexander Gustin, who is hard, or somebody compared to even freaking Daniel Cormier. Daniel Cormier isn't even slow. He just, he's just a wrestler, so he doesn't really throw that much. He doesn't, he's not throwing as much combat. He's not throwing as much striking as he normally does, as like compared to his opponents, but man moves and he's on the ground. Max Griffin, you know, he has to do a better job with his, his, his speed, man, you know, because I don't want him to go against somebody like he's going up against today who has, who's strong, who move, doesn't move slow, doesn't move quick, but doesn't move slow, and, and has that MMA ring IQ. Because again, Derek Cross, right? Not only was he strong, but he was pretty quick as well, right? But again, that's when the ring awareness and that's when the ring IQ, that's, those are the times that you exemplify those, those attributes everybody, that everybody should possess because 
not every time you fight, you're going to get the knockout. So what type of ring intellect, what type of ring ability do you possess to go to the distance? All right. Now, who I believe is going to win this bet, now who I believe is going to win this bout, I would have to say Sean Cannon. Sean Cannon, I think he's going to knock him out within the first or second round. Again, and I always say this in my videos, I could be wrong, but it's just I'm always going to be biased towards what I believe in because I'm the only person who sees it. Nobody else does. You know, I, I, I clearly take the time out to judge my fights, you know, through, through uh, fighter's perspective, fan's perspective, and through a, you know, just a, 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 a regular person's perspective. Like I'm using a three-dimensional ability to judge accurately. And I don't see Max Griffin winning. I think he's a bit too slow. He doesn't have any brand new on his, his ring IQ sucks. Song Kian is stronger. He 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 has the ring awareness to win. And he 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 he's a, he's faster than him. That's number one. That he use that he's he's way faster than the guy. And and he just hits so hard. Because look at because look at it, look look at it like this. Chris Mellon Chris Mellinger was able to hit him as, as many times as he was able to hit him. We show up, we think that he didn't have the power that Son Keenan has, right? But imagine if Chris Mellinger it was Son Keenan that night with the power that he possessed, especially with those with, with with those left hooks and those right hands. All it takes is for one shot. Tell him, you know, and. Another thing, even if Max Griffin tries to get Son Keenan on the ground, he's already shown us against somebody like Derek Cross, which is probably one of his toughest fights. Like he has the the submission defense and, and, and the ground defense to go back up and to 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 go back up to go back to stand up and strike to go to stand up and strike because he knows how to control the fight as well. So this is my prediction for the Sean Keenan versus Sean Keenan versus uh, yeah. <laughs> Sean Keenan versus Max Griffin. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this episode. Excuse me for you know forgetting the guys' name because I just have well, just so much in my mind right now. I have to keep you guys, you know, at, at the same focus on you guys. So yes, I hope that everybody enjoys this episode. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my content, please. You can email me for any inquiries if you're more than welcome to. I mean, you're more than welcome to email me for any inquiries if you would like to. At the scrap empire at gmail.com. You know, tell your friends about this channel to everybody you know. And I hope you guys enjoy my content. Thank you and have an exceptional morning. Bye bye.